A short time ago, President Trump visiting Arlington National Cemetery to lay a wreath at the tomb of the unknown soldier in honor of Veterans Day. I want to bring in retired Lieutenant Commander Steve Rogers, also known as Captain America. Steve, it's been too long, my friend. Uh, and, and on that uh, note, I want to get your thoughts uh, on this Veterans Day, where we are as a nation. Certainly, we embrace and we love our vets or show them love more than we had at any time, I think, in the past. And that's got to be a good thing and a good feeling for someone like you. Charles, it is. And you said something before that is very, very true. Veterans Day should be every day. And I've urged people around the country, when you see a veteran with his baseball cap on, especially those World War II vets or their jackets on, go up to them and say thank you. And Charles, that happened to me today twice. I was walking around uh, out at a store, had my baseball cap on, and young people, high school kids, came up to me and said, thank you, sir, for your service. And one kid saluted me. So the fact of the matter is, is that you're right. It's so touching. It hits you right in your heart. And it is much needed. I'm getting goosebumps just listening to you talk about that, Steve. That, that's beautiful. I mean, I think that young people recognize that we've come a long way in this country. And, and, and you know, I just hope we, we stay this way and, yes, and, yes, and, and really honor and, and, really get, and really believe that, you know, no, we got it. We take it. We cannot take it for granted. I want to kind of switch gears, though, a little bit. Because uh, if, if, if President Biden, if, if, you know, if, pres if Biden becomes president, you know, and the, the, once the elections are certified, what do you think may happen with respect to our military? You know, because and before you answer, I I'm concerned about, you know, a more pro, you know, the, the, the feeling that President, uh, president Biden would want to be more engage with the world, would want to be at their disposal more, want to get back in their good graces. Uh, at the same time, though, Military personnel didn't fare, fare that well, at least when it came to incomes, right? Uh, in 2009, there was a pay raise uh, of 3.9%. By the time the Obama-Biden team left office, that pay raise was only 1.3% a year. It's gone up every single year since President Trump has been in office from 2.1% to 3.1%. And then to forget about the equipment was dilapidated. How do you think the men and women in, in the military would fare uh, under a Biden presidency? Well, I could tell you uh, a Biden presidency will never be able to fill the shoes of a Trump presidency with regard to the United States military. Those men and women love President Trump. He took care of them. Uh, he took care of their families. He restored pride. And it was so much needed in the military to, to, to bring that pride back to the people uh, protecting this nation. And, and you know what? Uh, he also, Charles, took care of their families. And I think one of the greatest things he did and he kept his word. He's trying to and has successfully kept us out of wars. We have no wars under this administration. Right. He has shown uh, restraint and he uh, has protected the troops. I'm glad you brought that up because and Robert Gates, who, by the way, was Defense uh, Secretary under Obama, Biden, uh, he wrote in his memoirs that Biden, quote, you know, that he, Biden was a good man, but that he'd been wrong on nearly every major foreign policy and national security issue for the past four decades. Uh, people are worried about the, the neocons in the Republican Party. Uh, uh, again, Biden's, uh, uh, you know, need uh, for foreign leaders to embrace us, to say they like us and, and to and to, of course, to refund and uh, start to pile more money into NATO. Are you concerned that we'd be at a greater risk of entering foreign interventions and in wars now? Yes, I am, because uh, it's pretty clear to me that Mr. Biden is not doing what President Trump has successfully done, and that's keeping America first. Uh, I've looked at some of the policies, and I am concerned that America is no longer going to be first, but be second or maybe third in the eyes of a Biden administration. So I'm just believing that as we move along, uh, I certainly want the president to be successful in his endeavors. But I've got to tell you something. What he did for this country, no one's going to be able to fill his shoes for a very long time. Steve Rogers, uh, it's been too long. Thank you for your service. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Uh, meanwhile, you. stocks are starting to, you know, <laughs> starting, starting to win.